Hey guys, how are you today? And yes, it is 2018 year. <laughs> okay. I just wish you all the best, that you laugh a lot, that you are optimistic, uh, have a lot of money, have great health, uh, that you smile, and so on. Just all the best. So, this video topic is all about basic information, how to connect and configure networks. That I mean wired and wireless networks. So, if you want to know, stay tuned, I'll be back in a few moments. Networks are generally being used for internet access and also you can use them for many many stuff like watching YouTube videos, play multiplayer games, chat with your friends and so on. You can also use file sharing, where files like documents, pictures, music, videos can be transferred between network devices like television, desktop computer, tablet, smartphone and also you can send them over the internet via email, cloud storage, Facebook and many other services. As you probably know, we know wired and wireless networks. Wired networks uses network cable to connect devices where on one cable you can connect maximum of two devices. Mostly on one side of network cable we connect devices like laptop computer, desktop computer, television and similar. Where on other end of network cable we connect router, hub, switch and similar devices. Remember that when you are connecting two computer directly, you need to have crossover network cable. But in most of other cases, like connecting uh, your laptop with your router, you need patch network cable. More information you can get in the description below this video. Wireless networks or short Wi-Fi uses radio signal between connected devices, so no physical cables needed. Wireless networks are generally less stable than wired networks. But today the difference is very small. Wireless networks can be found in many places like hotels, bars, restaurants and so on. Most wireless networks are password protected, so you need to password to log in to that specific network. Passwords can be obtained from whoever knows the password. That includes, let's say, bartender in the bar or network administrator and so on. In some cases, you need to pay for internet access. On some devices like laptop, you need to turn on wireless network card via switch or on the keyboard so you can use it. But in many cases, it is already on. If you do not know how to do it, just read owner's manual of your device. I provided you basic information about networks and internet in my previous video of this computer basics course. You can find that link of that video below this video or you can just click on top right corner. So let's say you want to connect your computer to a wired network. It is easy. Just plug in the network cable as I, as I did and you will see that that icon for network is turned differently. Here many different icons of network down here. But if you do not see that icon right somewhere right here, then click the arrow key arrow button and here it is network if you click on it you will see some informations let's say we uh, we are connected to a wired network named asianet ar but i also have possibility to connect to wire two wireless networks and let's say if i disconnect my wired network as you see that notification that I am connected is disappeared. Now I do not have any internet at all. 
To connect to some wireless network, just click on the network you want to connect to and click connect. Wait a little bit and then just type in the password of your wireless network, if it is password protected, of course. If it is not, it will automatically connect without asking about password. So, let's type in password and click next. And if you want to, your computer to be discoverable from other computers on the, this same network, then click yes. If you want to hide your computer, just click no. I will click yes. And as you see, my wireless is connected to my router. And uh, whatever if it is wired or wireless, now we can check if internet is ok. Just open up some internet browser uh, and in search engine like Google just type in let's say movie trailers. Press enter and as you see web pages are shown as, it, as they should. But in your case it may not be so... So, what now? Another thing is that when you get information for, your, for this network you want to connect to, you can get some numbers and near numbers rights, IP and mask and DNS and so on. Don't worry, you just need to insert all this information into settings of network card. Let me show you how to do it. You can go start, settings, network and internet and click whatever, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whatever you want. Click network and share center. Click change adapter settings. And as you see here, I have three network cards, so that you know. Uh, Bluetooth and Ethernet wired are disconnected, so it is cross because of that. But I am connected to wireless. Remember that you right click on the network card that you are actually connecting to that specific network. And then just click properties. Now. We need to determine if we have Internet Protocol version 4 or Internet Protocol version 6. If it is only f 4 sets of numbers uh, with dots, that is 4, otherwise it is 6. So let's say we, we need version 4. Just click on it and click Properties or just double click on version 4. Now. Use the following IP address and just type in all these informations. But uh, before I will type in, I just need to say that IP address is address, network address for your computer. Let's say your computer is connected to modem and that modem is connected outside to your internet provider. Modem has two network addresses. Let's write it down. Let's say for example I will type 192.168.1.100 That is only the example. You most probably have different numbers. So subnet mask. When you click it automatically shows you those numbers. But if any number is different just Double click on it and change it. Default gateway. Let's say it is 192.168.1.1. Let's say that is most common IP address. And that address is internal IP address of your router modem to whatever device you are connected to. And when you're done, just click OK and that's it. But let's say I, I want to remove all these informations. I will just check Obtain automatically. 
remember that obtain automatically that is most common so you just plug in your router to your computer and you can start using it but in some cases you need to enter manually like i did and that is all up to the network administrator how he configures it and one last thing is that some networks require that you visit specific web page which you of course open some internet web browser and in url above you type in your website that you uh, that your network administrator gives you and ju you just need to follow the steps on the screen i cannot show you how to do that because uh, I do not have possibility to show you and of course if you have any questions did not understand something uh, you want to ask me something you just want to say hello to talk whatever just type everything below this video in comment section yeah and now I just want to say that I like making videos, uh, I want all of you to be more engaged in my uh, channel. I know that I do not have many subscribers, but I hope that my content is not too bad. So I want feedback on every single video feedback what you like, what you didn't like, whatever. So, now it's just uh, time to say have a great day, uh, be well and bye bye. If you like the video, of course, give thumbs up, comment the video, share the video with your friends, co-workers and so on and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos.